That's what were you saying? Uh, no problem. That's okay. Also, if you do need to have dinner, this is recorded. I don't want you to miss, you know, dinner time with your family. That's, that's uh, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll manage accordingly. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Hey, Jody. Good to see you. Thanks for jumping on. Oh, hi. Oh, I wonder. Uh, this is my first time joining this uh, session. So, uh, are these also recorded? Uh, it is like, recorded. Uh, yes. So where is the uh, place to find all the recordings? Yep. So it'll be on. Um, they're being uploaded at the moment. Some of them are. So the last latest one isn't on the community yet, but it will be shortly. It's under uh -huh. Portfolio Essentials. We did the Portfolio oh, Live. Oh, I see. Because yeah, we did, we did I, the... I saw there are some like uh, uh, older ones. I didn't know that this like uh, other recordings, uh, in other sessions, uh, I didn't see like a, a kind of weekly sessions. I didn't see uh, any of them right now. Oh, resume, I saw it. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's that's the resume okay. one we worked on. I see, I see. Okay. Um, and the capabilities deck will be mm -hmm. uploaded soon. Okay. Um, I might have to cool. record like a separate little mini video to go with that resume video because there's some slight changes I have to make to it, but I, I didn't want to make them without people seeing. Yeah. Cool. Um, Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think this is the working session. Also, that will be um, time that we work separately on uh, our content or... So these live sessions, um, so I have to build my portfolio deck or my portfolio uh -huh. in general, and we thought it would be a great idea to live stream these pretty much um, uh, to the community. You, so, you will be showing your um, process, basically. Yeah, I'll be making it on, on oh. call. So okay. if you cool. want to work at the same time alongside, you can. Um, or you can just watch and ask questions and, and that sort of thing too. So kind of both mm. options here. Sure. Uh, do we have time dedicated to um, sharing or getting reviews uh, from each other, or it's um, so that's uh, at our that's a different event. That's our portfolio. Let me take a look. So that's normally done at our gym session. If you have questions, we do stop regularly um, uh -huh. to be like, okay, what did you guys you know, think of that portion? Was there um, uh huh. Yeah. Anything that I, came I to mind, would, yeah. would like to get some quick feedback on uh, the hero case study if you know uh, there is a chance. Uh, there might be some after the call. Um, after the call. Uh -huh. If not, just very then... quick. Yeah, just very quick, like uh, focusing on uh, hero case study. Like, yeah, so we can uh, see after the call. Mm -hmm. um, we'll yeah. stick to kind of what we've been doing for these types of calls. But if for some reason you don't, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to send you a link. So I'm going to send you where you can book in a feedback session with people on the call. Um, we also, just a reminder, we also have the next portfolio gym coming up in two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, so the, that's okay. Okay. Uh, I think that, that that's more helpful uh, for just, uh, you know, sharing and then getting feedback. For feedback. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, but I'm going to send you this link okay. now and I'll actually, I'll chuck it in the chat to this call for anyone else who wants to see it. If you want to book a session like this, where you actually can show your work and ask for feedback from people on the call, that is a link you can use to book mm, it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I jo jo dropped it in the chat. So that should get you. Okay. Cool. Any other questions from anyone before we kick off? No, I think we're good. Okay, so let's do a bit of a recap. I'm going to completely change the approach today for a good reason. I want to show you guys what I'm thinking. So let's recap where we were last time. So this is what I would call kind of the mountain of stress is where we're at at the moment. Um, it's where everything's getting a little difficult. Um, so if we jump back to, you know, in the first few sessions, just to recap every time, we worked through, I worked through talking out loud and building a resume from scratch. And so this is what we came up with here. Um, I'll record a second little video that'll go with all the replays. That's just building maybe two to three variations of this. And I'll, I'll record that little video and send that out afterwards. 
We spent the past two sessions first trying to use the capabilities deck to build out um, our first draft of the capabilities deck. We put our hero case study on. We tried to map out the kind of core story-driven areas for our hero case study. And we also added space for our secondary or supporting case studies, which we put here. But I am going to completely change the approach here. So I think this is definitely valuable. However, given that right now there is a bit of time pressure, um, what I think is going to be in terms of I need to send something to someone ASAP, and it doesn't matter fully if it's um, 100% detailed perfectly done right now i have nothing so sending something is better than nothing so what we're going to do and um, um you can all see my screen and everything Just double check there i might need a verbal yes because i can't see anyone yes yes maybe cool thank you thank you um what we're going to do is we're going to switch up the way we were doing our hero case study, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, so I need to get something sendable by the end of this session today. Um, so that means the long process of trying to figure out all the difficult process of trying to figure out my perfect kind of uh, introduction for the my, my hero case study, it's going to take a little bit. So I want to just quickly spend a few minutes testing a, a secondary approach. Um, and I would still spend time to build out the, the proper hero case study here. But due to time, I think there might be an alternative way we can at least get something sendable. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So um, the good thing about my role that I did with the Civil Aviation Safety Authority was that there was actually quite a lot of different kinds of projects I did. So we had the main one, which was the design system. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually having a series of one pager case studies, just capturing maybe two or three of the main projects I did with that role, rather than necessarily a single um, slightly longer case study. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, I'm going to take a, a, a separate approach here. So let's map this out and I'll show you what I mean. So we have our title for my role, which is Civil Aviation Safety Authority. Um, and if I jump back over to the portfolio deck, we had a template here that's going to assist with the approach that I'm thinking of going for. Um, let's see, where are the covers? Pretty sure we have one here somewhere. Let me take a look. Where is it? If we didn't, maybe I'll have to come up with it on the fly. Okay, I thought we had the template, but maybe not. Um, so I've actually seen some people do this before. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have a cover, but instead of it being a cover for the case study, it's kind of going to be like a cover summary of the role. And we're in a pretty good spot um, for, for it to be here. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to create some of this. And what I want to do is just kind of summarize uh, this, these roles projects so people kind of know what I'm about to showcase. Um, we talked about the main hero case study that I was wanting to address was the creation of the, the company's first design system. Um, so if we chuck that in, it'd be creating... Um, what's a good word for this? We're just going to use writer mode, not edit mode. I'm going to do this just over the next five minutes and we'll check in. Oops. I'm going to separate this into two sections. I still want to communicate the challenge. In our last session, we walk, went over um, the, the challenges the organization was facing, and we were facing things like the um, design team had a slow prototyping process using Adobe Dreamweaver and HTML slash CSS prototypes. We had some challenges to inconsistent branding and experience across 
multiple blocks. So that was that was one thing there. And we had some notes for our hero case study. What do we write down? Don't think we had any extra notes there, but I'm going to add a second one just to really summarize the opportunity as well. I'm trying to do it all on one slide, but it's going to get a little heavy text-wise, so we're going to have to reduce it down later. And if I had to summarize the opportunity, it would be... Actually, I don't like that. I'm going to get rid of opportunity here. I'm going to put it as a challenge. Um, Growing scalableness, growing uh, um, core digital product is beginning to scale its services and offerings. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. That kind of captures the core three things that I wanted to do here. Let's. Also, we need more space between the lists. That's going to kill me if I don't do it. That's not list spacing. That's list spacing. Cool. There's also another challenge here. That's all focused around the design system, but we've also... Um, so there's still more challenges, but we're going to leave that for now. It at least communicates enough. So we created the first design system um, for the organization. We also, what else do we do in terms of projects? There was um, did a service design for new policy and services. Just summarizing kind of what we, what I did in the role, and probably what we are going to showcase for individual case studies here. Um, And strategy kind of facilitation. If I was to summarize the three core things I'd want to showcase out of my role, it would probably be these three. So this is going to be give me something that I can send that's not too much effort where we don't have to dive straight into all of the, the complex storytelling pieces. Um, but this should hopefully be enough to just get me in for the next role um, or at least the next interview, maybe. I hope so. Um, but it's better for me personally than sending them nothing. So, okay, that's kind of summarizing the role. There's way more text here than I would like. There's also um, kind of you got like you got these tags, and you got a header, and you got a subheader. Um, then you've got kind of bold here, and then you've got this here, which gets to me a little bit. That's fine. Okay, let's just clean up the spacing slightly. That's going to kill me if I don't do it. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, that's going to be our core slide. And then if we were to have these as projects, if we go project number one, this is going to be a short way of doing it. Creating a scalable, maybe design platform. I like calling design systems platforms because it kind of makes sense. Cool. Uh, my role in this project, and we're going to get rid of these tags. I don't think we need them yet. My role in this project is the senior designer. So it's the lead. Senior designer. I could add more details, but that's enough. Okay, going to leave the challenge and opportunity blank. We're going to go over our outcomes. Now, this is where we have some interesting options here. Um, I can pull off the top of my head a few metrics, and we can fill in them with more accuracies later. So 30 plus components with detailed uh, design documentation. Cool. So that's one aspect to it. Uh, we also had over... I'm going to just put a number, 15 new services. And 
a utilize design system Uh, I've also got four um, trained the design team. These are not good wording, but again, we're in writer's mindset. We just want to get the gist of it all out. These are terrible wording, but it's okay. I've got to remind myself that it's okay. Okay, just a quick pause. Just want to check if this is valuable. Um, how is this going? I've changed my approach to this because we need to, I need something sendable. Um, is this useful? useful? Yeah, I think that's a great idea to like quickly give them an idea. So the so what you're gonna do is like have how many case studies that are kind of this summary, like one pager? Or are you thinking about doing like four of those or something or two? So I'm gonna do the three, three. I'm gonna do the three core. Uh, these three projects are going to be in a way under a single role, which kind of, um, so it's a little unusual um, in the sense that I'm showcasing three projects, but I'm putting it under the umbrella of a single role. Right. So I would classify it. It's almost saying it's a single case study, but technically showing multiple at the same time. Oh, um, and the reason I've got a specific reason why I'm doing that for one I'm applying for senior designer roles where I'm, especially the roles I'm starting to apply for, I'm expected probably to do most things. It's kind of like a UX design team of one. So I need to show some versatility there in terms of what I've done. Um, so kind of what these three projects are saying is that I can do the UX side of the design design. It then also shows, okay, service design, that's a bigger, broader user experience aspect. And then the facilitation aspect shows strategy and outcomes and, and kind of team planning. So those three projects are kind of communicating my three core skills for my role. And it mm -hmm. just so happens to be under a single role. So that's, that's kind of handy mm. um, in this circumstance. In terms of what about all the case studies after that, um, which is a good question. In terms of what I would add there, there's a few options. I can just add my past work that I've done. Um, we had one written down that was like a, what was it? It was a, like an, another service design based project, which I can definitely, I think I'll probably add that. It'll be very high level, not much detail probably. Um, yeah, so I think that would be good enough to send because I don't need a lot. I just need enough for it to showcase that I've got diverse skills and I've done a lot of cool stuff really. Um, I could probably not add the extra case studies since in reality, we've got three mini projects at this point. Mm -hmm. I call them mini, but the design system took a year and a half in itself, but um, <laughs> like, it's still a big project. Yeah. Um, the, I think if, if you were to take away that cover, the cover that I made to summarize the role, what you'd end up with is still three case studies just as a single page. Mm -hmm. um, but we're kind of grouping it under a, a centralized role header here. Mm. Is that something that you would, the, the three that are grouped together, mm. would there, would you include like a little blurb about like those three being like one single role, like a little paragraph to kind of like thinking about storytelling and kind of like mm. framing it or something like that for, for the reader? Yeah. So right now I probably wouldn't, I would try and explain that with visual layout rather than any kind of words. So maybe I would make the branding or the coloration exactly the same. Right. So you kind of know. Um, I might add a subheader where it says like maybe uh, roll one, then project one, two or three. The project section on that main cover, I put numbered lists um, for a reason. Um, what I could do, for example, there's a, there's a funny way of doing it with publishing um, is if you add page numbers to all your slides, and then on the cover, maybe you just refer to the page number for that. And you can be like, oh, page number one, page two, page three, or something like that. You wouldn't really want to add page numbers because you're not publishing. But I guess it does kind of tell people what's what. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a few, like, I think, design options you can do that communicates that without having to actually say it very much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. on the, I could add a subtitle on each of the roles that then says maybe civil aviation safety authority so you can actually see it's part of the same role that's another way of doing it too right okay great yeah 
Cool. Thanks, Sarah and CJ, for joining in. We're just going over a, I've revised the approach to my uh, capability stack here. Um, beforehand, we were trying to do our kind of standard approach, which is still recommended. If um, One of the reasons why the capabilities deck approach is recommended um, is after at least doing the kind of templates that we've got, um, most people tend to have a really single strong hero case study that's kind of the pinnacle of their role. And so communicating that um, across a, a few number of slides can be really uh, valuable. It also helps you properly be able to, when people get into interviews, they often aren't able to communicate their work properly. Um, they often do a lot of ums and ahs, and they, they're like, oh, I guess the problem was that we didn't have this thing, um, which, of course, isn't an actual problem. Um, so when people do a lot of the hero case study short forms, um, it's a process of having to figure out how to explain your own work. What we're doing for this is, first of all, I'm pretty sure I can add my own work good enough at the moment. Um, we're flipping the page. I need to get something sendable ASAP. And what people need to see from me for the roles I'm applying for is just a bit of a visuals, a really short kind of outcome, and maybe even a bit of a challenge or breakdown. So um, what we're doing here is I have instead revised the cover to be more about my role. So it's a role summary and then goes into three core projects that were with that role. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Um, and I'm going to, these were the supporting case studies. For now, I'm going to remove them. Um, I could send this since we're working on a three core projects basis. I could still send this without those supporting case studies and still probably get a decent enough response. My goal is to get forward in the next step, which is an interview, um, rather than have some, and if I don't get the role, honestly, that's okay. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go pretty simple. We're going to go a uh, single pager for that project. And we're going to do maybe a, a little gallery for that project as well. So it's a nice way of closing it off and adding a little bit of extra detail to this. Okay. We've got where we're, this isn't really case study one. So I'm going to call this maybe, I'm just going to get rid of that. We don't need, Minimal visuals is good. I think there is, yes, there we go. If anyone is using this portfolio deck, um, if you turn on layout grids, we actually have layout grids built into this. So you can use that in case if anyone has been using this and you're like, the alignment isn't right. If you turn on layout grids, we actually have these little uh, markings so you can, you can align things up. Okay, this is going to be the role. We've got some challenges mapped out. They're not all the right challenge. We're, we're missing a few things in terms of like the, We've got the transformation of the product. We've got the inconsistent branding. Um, but we're talking about kind of service design here and facilitation is missing from this challenge. As in, why am I doing that work? What's the unique challenge for the organization? My role focuses a lot on kind of strategy and what's the organization or the product's problem. So I want to frame these things around that as much as possible. <laughs> um, okay. We've got projects. Um, if I wanted to emphasize what's coming up. There's a few visual design things I can do, and I don't want to spend too long on that. We're going to chuck a timer on in a sec. I could, for example, create a nice little visual tag here. So if I went like this, I use this method a lot when I do design of anything just because it always seems to work. Give me a smaller number one, please. Not number 24. Let's go 16. So I could, um, to really stand out that I'm about to go over these projects, I could do something like this, where I put a nice breakup of, which I personally like a lot. Probably don't want to be fiddling with all the visual design right now. Content is king. But occasionally we do let ourselves have just a little bit, just to satiate the designer hunger in us. Cool. There we go. Good enough. I won't fill it with this anymore. You can correct it later on. Okay. I like that. That looks nice. And I can always take these and then add it to the kind of visual here. So you always know there's a, there's a sense of connection and cont continuity. Oh, 
I'll keep that there. Got to stop fiddling. Okay. So the first project, what we want to do now is we want to go through each of these and hash out what each of the core projects are. Then we need to make sure that at least the outcome, the role, and preferably the challenge or opportunity, or I can swap this out for something. If we're feeling like that's too heavy for this session, we can go easy and just say maybe the process or um, the approach, just to, if I want to list out different things that happened, I can do that here. But I still uh, don't ever think adding the process in a heavy form really does much. The only reason why I would do something here is if I jump over to the job role and they want me to have done certain things, I could list out things like um, in kind of chronological order what happened. So I could be like UX audit. Um, we could do like a version two or three prototyping. You could do something like that, um, which would give us at least a bit of a, we would still meet some of those key roles and it'd still give a bit of an insight really what i want them to think is like okay i want to know more about what this person's done i want them to give me a bit more of a deep dive um, to have a conversation to see if they're fit for this role so i want them to bring me in for an interview so curiosity for me is quite key um let's actually jump over and see what did they actually want in their job role so i think that might be we might see something interesting there so let's jump over to that and if anyone has questions feel free to come off mic and let me know while we work through this let's see where is that role hopefully they haven't closed it already but um did seem like an interesting one i can never find roles that i personally like cool it's still here it was a senior product designer, 12 month fixed term contract for a company called Higher Up. They had over a hundred applicants. I just messaged Amy, the talent acquisition manager immediately. I think I told her I was gonna get the capabilities deck to her last week. So that's not a good look, but that's okay. Um, okay, so what do we got here? We've got working daily in research and design with engineers, product managers in a cross-functional product team. So that's a really good point in the sense that we haven't said anything about the team we are in. So um, if I wanted to add this under role here, I could add or under another section. I do kind of want to mention um, the product team. So I want to let's go, let's also mention kind of the product team and what's happening. Um, if I was to put a section on challenge here, we're in write mode at the moment. So we may cult things later. There was some core challenges um, and that was kind of frustrations with with handoffs in um, to developers and business analysts. We also had um, inconsistent uh, design uh, develop implementation. Of the design team designs. So th these were a couple of the challenges we were facing. And there's a ton of stuff that, um, see, we have driving alignment via design facilitation. Awesome. So that, th that, um, let's see, where is it? The, these two, f these last two projects are really going to hit home. So for this one, we have the kind of service design here, and I have pictures for that. And over here, we kind of have the more strategic kind of planning, the, the facilitation that I'm doing here, which is um, like planning days, that sort of thing. I'm super passionate about facilitation. I love it to bits. And I will include that even if it's to the detriment of myself because it's what I like. Um, running ideation sessions, yeah, facilitating workshops. We've got a lot of stuff there. Um, I'm going to uh, change the approach we would, I'm not going to actually do any of my original supporting case studies. Um, I've been into this role for a bit and I've done a lot of core projects. So I'm going to stick to the ones for this single role um, just because they're the, my most recent work. And honestly, they're my better work than everything else. Um, so there's one more project. If I have time, I want to add just because reading that job description kind of reminded me of it. And we're in the middle of what's called a dashboard redesign right now. Um, which did involve doing like information architecture workshops and a ton of that sort of stuff. So that kind of hits the mark. So this is a lot already in terms of length, but this would be the whole 
case study for me, at least something sendable. We'd have design system, we'd have um, the, my, one of the latest service design projects, um, the strategic facilitation, and then we would have kind of a, a closer look at it, a, a core feature of the product's redesign. So I'm pretty comfy with that. I like that. It's a bit much, but it follows the exact same um, process here. It goes um, quick snapshot project, gallery, snapshot gallery, snapshot gallery. You kind of know what to expect. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go with that. Okay. What else we got? So undefined pro, pro, uh, an undefined or complex problem area. My service design project really will do good there. Um, design thinking framework and toolkits. Yep, my exactly the same thing. Holistic product experience with big picture strategy in mind. Ooh. Um, I think the design system and some of the other work um, communicates that. Working directly with users to understand the journeys, problem space, as well as test and validate solutions. Uh, I'm probably not going to have it done in time for this case study, but we are going to actually go do user research. So that's there. Monitoring and influ influencing key metrics. I'm lucky in the sense that when I joined this role, they actually have a giant dashboard of metrics, which is really cool. I've never had that before. Um, let's take a last look at some pieces just to make sure, okay, is there any anything we need to write down? Uh, visual design, interaction design, prototyping, and delivery. Building a whole design system is a big tick box for that. Uh, web applications and native apps. Mm, I'm not fussed about meeting that. That's okay. Research and all that. Yep. Uh, deep dive into the Australian disability sector. We technically do some accessibility as part of the design system, so I will make sure to highlight that. So maybe we can talk briefly about accessibility there. It's at least a mention, bare minimum. Okay, I'm pretty happy with at least having gone over that. So let's get into it. We've got our core case studies here. What I'm going to do is I actually just want pictures. I want decent enough pictures where if the... Um, even if the words aren't super good, uh, you can at least see real pictures of what I'm doing. So I have a second laptop here because I'm going to need to maybe grab some quick screenshots. This is my work laptop. Um, any questions while I'm, I'm kind of grabbing some of those screenshots here? I don't think I'm hearing anyone on the call. No, if not, that's okay. Just stick with me while I quickly do this. Oh, I heard someone come off mic. Is there a me. question? Ooh. No, no question, but like, uh, what did you ask for? Uh, can you repeat? Oh, sorry. I was asking if anyone had any questions. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. Oh, no. No, no, cool. That's all good. No, what good timing. Um, so, I mean, I would share the design system for you guys to see if I could. Maybe that'll be a different session for those who are just intrigued to what the hell that looks like. I'm intrigued on what the hell that looks like. Okay, we're going to keep this really basic. I'm going to open my Notion back up. We're going to go back to the career. Oh, that's a case study club's Notion. Let's go back to there. And let's open up my design system. I want pictures of that. Um, I've been capturing things as we go along. These versioning are actually, um, I've slowly been capturing the different versions of the design system, which unfortunately, whilst is super cool, um, there's nowhere near enough time, space, or anything to um, showcase it in a capabilities deck. So I would probably do, honestly, a interview deck purely for the fun of it. Um, I have a weird definition of fun, I hear. Okay, there's a few pictures that are just popping in now. I'm uploading a few different things. I'm uploading the concept designs for the dashboard project, which is actually the last project, um, just because I had it open. And then I'm going to upload pictures of the design system. So let me grab full complete. Maybe one of the complete 
button documentations. Everyone loves buttons. And honestly, I don't really care if it's super unpolished or scrappy. Um, it's going to be better than nothing. And I would love to show way more of a polished thing other than just a Figma, uh, other than Figma pictures, but it's going to be Figma pictures because right now that's all I got. Okay, cool. Here's uh, one project. I want to show real stuff. So this, this is the concept dashboard. This is the blank white pictures. Uh, this is going to be design system pictures. So we want that. There's system one. This is the before and after of the dashboard design. So you are actually seeing some real work. Beforehand, this is what it currently looks like. And this is the concept art, so to speak. Probably won't actually look like that, but that's okay. Uh, this is our, <laughs> just a Figma list of all the components. I'm going to take all of these and we're just going to start chucking them in. Okay, let's get them in. Let's get some nice pictures. I start with pictures because I'm visual. Um, everyone's visual technically. But I want to start with them because it helps me understand whether I am on the right road without doing too much. Um, okay, so dashboard redesign. I'm going to put the new dashboard maybe right here. And we're going to have the before and after over here. I also have a really cool picture that would be nice to highlight. And then that'll be the pictures for this case study. I have to open up tons of stuff. Jeez. Maybe this could have been uh, before the session. Now, something I've been trying to do way more in my roles recently is capturing work. And I think we've all had this problem. Um, so what I've been trying to do is just think about when I'm doing my design work, how can I showcase this at some point in the future that's going to look really cool? So um, like if I'm facilitating workshops, for example, what I'll do is I'll set it up so I can record it and I can kind of see everyone moving around on the screen. Um, if I'm doing design work, I'll often screenshot, I'll like make a new achievement in that, uh, in the portfolio operating systems project audit, um, like a new, and I'll just start capturing the work as I go. Um, just screenshots. I don't do anything f fancier than that. It's pretty basic. Um, and last element for the dashboard work is going to be this. This is a, just a screenshot of our card sorting activity. And I think that's going to be enough for this. Okay, cool. That shows some things. So we're going to go with that. Now, if I had actually completed this project, I would probably do way more stuff. I'd actually have like user testing. I'd probably have maybe even like a video or some screenshots of actual user testing. But this is still in the middle of being done. Um, so I'm keeping it basic, especially it's my last case study. So it's already been reinforced by everything else that came before. But let's get the most important one, the MVP, which is going to be the design system. And I want the music on. Without the music, life gets sad. Okay, we've got our documentation. I love it when I got documentation. We're going to just drop it all in here. I'm not keeping this super pretty or anything. What I am going to do is maybe I'm going to remove the side picture, but I really do like having a clear left and right. I don't like, actually, I'm going to keep that in. It kind of gives me almost mild visual anxiety almost. What I am going to do is I'm going to capture the background of Figma. And that's going to be my background. Paste to replace. 
Oh, excellent. Much better. I like the clear distinction between left and right. Um, so I, I prefer that very much. Also going to just add just a little bit of visual updates here. Just to distinguish what we're looking at. It's not the most prettiest, but uh, it'll it'll do. There's definitely a lot we could point out that is wrong with it. Okay, for the gallery, we want some other pictures. I'm gonna chuck on maybe. Let's see what have I got here. Maybe that can be a later thing for me to focus on. Um, I think what we can chuck, just some comments. Um, in terms of what else should go on here to kind of showcase it, I could add some more documentation pictures. Um, that's always useful. I have a metric picture screenshotted from, no uh, from Figma. So let's scroll up. We've got dashboards. We've got this, which kind of showcases all the components, how they've been used. Um, and so it's kind of Figma tracking, which is very cool for Figma to have. Um, I have this great picture of us showcasing wireframes. So that's great. Um, showcase with developers. So there's a handoff. I'm not going to showcase this. Great job. You've gotten a good star. <laughs> Whilst it was cool. Um, definitely. And this is also a kind of service being uh is like a design template. So this is a service we designed, but we also came up with an app, and that just reminded me, we came up with an entire system on how we're actually designing um, everything. So, so when we do start a new design, we also came up with the entire process around, okay, what's that all look like? How does it work? So if that's something we could do, that would be nice. Now, if I had more time and if we were doing this more longitudinal, we had a bit more time with the resume than we did this, um, then I probably would take a lot more time with our content. Um, but as we all know, we don't always have as much time as we want. So that's going to be the main challenge, I think, for today. I'm not going to touch the visual design or else we'll be here for ages. Okay. Um, what else have we done? So we kind of, the kind of outcome, let's see, there's a few other things. There's, um, there's a, a prototyping to development process and ways of working. Train the design team on the design system. That's a terrible way of putting it, but we're going to keep it. Um, challenges, low visibility of design decisions, including accessibility and common patterns. Well, I think that summarizes, let's see, role lead designer working with In terms of the, the team, we had a uh, the core design team, which had four designers. We had um, two front-end developers, uh, PM pretty much, um, and two business analysts. Now, the reason why I'm... Uh, Talking about this, is they on that job role, they really focused it on working with developers, cross disciplinary, all that. So I'm going to just highlight the team um, just so that's kind of that's there. They know exactly um, what's happening. Now, the visual design is definitely doing terrible here but that's going to be done last. So we have our outcome, we have kind of our challenges, we have the role and the team, so that's going to be good en enough for this. We have emphasized what's going on there. We've got some pictures, could be way better, but 
we can't complain too much. It's it's something. This is getting longer and longer now. Okay, pretty terrible, but uh, we'll keep on it. Um, I think it's kind of communicating most of what we want, though. Like in terms of what I want to communicate about it, it just needs to be cleaned up and simplified. We've got the 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 team. We've got the kind of core challenges, handoffs between developers, inconsistent implementation of designs, low visibility of design decisions, including accessibility and common patterns. Um, we also I think we talk, mentioned it in the Civil Aviation Safety Authority. Um, was the scaling of the product. So we might add that in here. That's doubling up, but we'll add it just for now. Okay. And then for outcome, we've talked about the components and patterns, which is a bit too granular for me, but that's okay. Um, we have prototyping to development, the whole process and the ways of working. Um, in here, we also kind of need to include the UX backlog just to show, yes, we work in multi. Uh, disciplinary teams and we work with a bit of agile ways of working train the design team on the design system is kind of moot so we're going to remove that go back to that job role i'm going to use that here research and designs often working in undefined let's see <clears throat> holistic thinking i think this tackles enough of this that where we've got the visual design we've got cross-functional teams Whilst it's not perfect, um, I think it's kind of ticking a decent amount of boxes here. Um, so I think we're good enough there. This kind of talks about big picture. Let's move on to the next one. Um, so the service design is work I did for understanding how recreational pilots fly with um, so the medical uh, stage of, of how that works. So. Um, how would I say this? Probably helping recreational outlets with medical concerns, licenses. That's a very long way of putting it. We've talked in the past about having notes below our area for when we need to kind of really just sit there and add a ton of info just to get it out of our brain into one place and then wrangle it into something usable. So we do in this role, the challenge was um, uncertain of the, the challenge for this role was uncertain of the pain points and process for how pilots get and use medical certificates or licenses. So that was one. That was kind of the core, really, what we did. Um, there was a big project for revising how we do that. So big project, revise. The vision here was um, revising the medical certificate system for pilots. Kind of what this was really about. Pilots and medical. Talk about who it is and what it is. It's not perfect, but we'll do it there. Um, what about role? I was the, the kind of main service designer on here, and our project team was a project manager, SMEs, and technically we worked with a delivery team, but they didn't do anything with the work we did. And we also worked with like comms areas as well. Worked with comms, um, just the project team in general. Cool. Okay, let's take those. Uh, to revise. And the big challenge here also was um, past attempts. This is past attempts at redesigning um, or redesigning this kind of medical certification system went really poorly. 
They didn't go out and talk to anyone. And what happens is they made something that didn't work and then wasted quite a lot of money. So that's kind of the challenge. Let's keep that in. Cool, we got that there. What were the outcomes? Uh, we had about six uh, current state any maps. We had about uh, seven subject matter expert interviews. We had um, three future state vision maps, if I'm talking about the deliverables here, just because people seem to like deliverables. Um, from an actual outcome outcome perspective, um, we aligned, supported, aligning the project team. It's very generic, but we also actually did deliver um, the delivery of a new class five medical certificate. It's not technically a certificate. They would get angry at me for saying that. That will mean nothing to anyone reading it, but I think that's getting the gist of what we're doing across. So I'm going to remove all these tags. Um, I'm going to remove, we're going to keep the subheader here. But let's move our little number design thing along. Ben? Yes. Can I call on you? Please do. Okay. Uh, so I'm just, when I'm looking at the outcomes, I'm not yes. really sure if right now it represents the whole value I've created. Uh, oh, definitely you. not. Okay. So, uh, I mean, just like, yeah, design system numbers and everything else or mm -hmm. like ability interviews, like expert reviews, they are great. But yeah, that's process. The, yeah, like uh, mm -hmm. that might be a thing you did, but was that the real outcome? So uh, it's definitely not the outcome at the moment. Um, so right now what I'm trying to do is write down what are all the things that are specific that I think this case study will need to communicate. Definitely hasn't got all the outcomes yet, 100% does not. Um, so what I mean is just writer's mode right now um, mm -hmm. to yeah. get as much of the most of the details out. And so once I've got that across these case studies, then what I'm going to do is go back and be like, okay, many of these things don't fit here, but it is something that I'm trying to communicate. So where should this go and what are the actual outcomes? So that's definitely something I completely agree. These outcomes are not really outcome proper outcomes at all. And they're not really clear outcomes in any way, shape or form. Okay, good. Does that make yes. sense? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. um, some of the roles they were mentioning, for example, actionable insights. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I can understand how you want to structure uh, the what they're looking for and also the things you did and create a bond between the two so that they will be handy. Yep. Uh, sorry, I, I missed that last part that you just said. I was saying that you're matching what you did uh, during the project to the, I mean, I'm assuming, to the key points from uh, the ads that you were looking at LinkedIn, right? So actionable yeah. insights would be speaking to you, the expert interview. Yeah, uh, Tefik, I know it, uh, but I'm just, you know, like clarifying it uh, because maybe some people might be lost or... Uh, 100%. They're like, that's not an outcome. Uh -huh. um, 100%. No, thank you for raising that. And these, these are definitely not good outcomes the, i mean no, i shouldn't say good outcomes these are maybe like you could say results they are numbers um but the, yeah. when you talk about like what did this actually do on a grand scale of things that's a not really communicated here at all so like outcome what actually happened like yeah we designed some services that's a okay-ish one um but in terms of yeah what what actually happened afterwards hasn't been properly explained in this yet cool much agreed. Um, in terms of images, I'm going to just put artifacts on this. Um, the goal for the end of this session is to pretty much be at a stage where I can at least maybe improve some of the text and then it's decent enough that they can at least have something to look at. Because right now, all they have is a resume. That's all I've got to show someone. Um, 
So as long as I want numbers in this, even if the outcome's not perfect, I just, the more specific I am, um, generally, I think the, the better it is. So as long as I'm not super ambigu ambigu ambiguous with my wording, for this first shitty first draft is, I guess, what we call it, um, I at least want to be able to cover some of the, the bases. That makes sense. Um, these outcomes definitely, I think, um, as Sarah mentioned, if we're trying to communicate the best outcomes, these definitely do not do it and they don't reach it at all. Um, <clears throat> okay. So going to chuck some more pictures of journey maps and workshops here. This is M, like super MVP. Facilitation, I have Miro board pictures, so we're going to do that. Um, I'm sticking to the outcome format that I'm working on at the moment, but it will need revision. Um, I'm looking for adding numbers to anything right now. Um, specificity uh, lends itself better to... I guess, ambiguity. So that's kind of what I'm after here. So I ran a daily uh, branch kind of planning day workshop. We might remove this slide depending on how we're doing. Because we've already got at least two slides, maybe three. So whilst the workshop facilitation is good, it's kind of covered in here. So I also ran an A workshop in here, but I actually don't remember what it is. Um, there was a workshop somewhere. The more specific I am on what's happened, the better here. So branch planning day workshops, um, retrospectives for pro, uh, post project use. What else happened? Just going to repeat some stuff. Information architecture workshops. Cool. We're going to just stick with that for now. Um, challenger opportunities. Good question. There is no facilitation in CASA. That's kind of solutionizing it. Um, but the kind of maturity level of how do we bring people together is pretty low, um, which causes there's not really any service design in CASA at all. So from a um, organizational perspective, service design is new. Um, they've never heard of it, never seen it. They're running projects in a pretty old school way. Run very kind of waterfall, no engagement method there. That's kind of an organizational thing. So maybe we'll shift it into the cover page. Um, also one note, we have not one note, um, we have a cover for this whole role, but it looks remarkably similar to all of our projects here. So visual design wise, I might want to change this to stand out um, potentially from everything else. So maybe there might be, I might change the visual design. So it's, it's clear that it's a cover for the entire thing. Okay, we'll keep the facilitation, but um, I'm, I'm a bit ambiguous. It was way easier to put together these two first drafts than it was anything else. Um, the dashboard redesign is an easy one. So the challenges here is around the kind of scaling of services, uh, really slow load times. And while I write some of these, um, something I'm mindful of is I've been deep in these projects. So I might put words down that make sense to me, but will make no sense potentially for everyone else. Um, and when we do get feedback, one of the reasons why we get feedback, like how Sarah was giving me there, um, is because we've been in this project so long, what we think is the opportunity might not actually be the real opportunity. Um, yeah. And we also have uh, the kind of branding difference between web and the product. That reminds me, we over on the design system, there's other stuff that we kind of forgot about. Um, we were also doing, I'm going to add this, but we might remove it. We're also kind of unifying the uh, branding across kind of the products. 
that's I'm going to chuck that as an outcome. And when I when I'm using the word outcome here, I'm thinking before and after right now. It's not exactly the kind of outcomes we would always write. I'm trying to develop a picture of here's before, here's after. Um, if I can at least do that, then I think that draw even as if the middle isn't filled in. Um, when this is being at least seen or read, it at least highlights kind of the kind of challenge to to solution approach here. And we have something we can send. I can always work on grammar outside of this. I will need to work on grammar outside of this. Okay. So what's left? So let's do a bit of a recap and, and a step back. Um, this slide before sending, this slide needs to be different from our other slides. Now, what we are going to send is not perfect. What we're going to send is going to suck in many places, but that is completely okay. Um, getting it out there in iteration is way more important. So when I send this, it's going to tell me a few things. It's going to tell me, was this for the industry and the areas I'm applying for enough to get me into an interview? Um, did it tick enough boxes? Did it was it specific enough? Did it at least, um, was it good enough to push me through to, to the next round? Um, going to be an interesting question on whether it will. I think it actually will. Um, just from the way design works where I am at the moment, um, not many of our designers actually have very good portfolios. Um, but also at the same time, I think, I honestly think it's good enough. Okay, so we need to clean up the wording on this slide. So we're in, we're in edit and critique mode. We're like, okay, what needs to be done to send this out? So spacing, uh, wording, needs to be cleaned up. The sentence structures need to be improved. The pictures and layout could be better. I'm going to put some comments on here in terms of what would what would need to be happen for this to be taken up a whole other level. And this will probably be maybe post this week just because I have to send something. Um, outcomes, very big, is, is really honing down on good, solid outcomes. We, we need really clear challenge slash problem business opportunity. And the way I would do that, at least for these projects personally, is what I would do is I'd take each one, I would expand it with what we did last time, and that would help me structure and bring clarity to kind of the problem solution. It would give me something to iterate with. I could move through a narrative of trying to communicate the company, the solution, and the product. Um, the, the company, the product, the solution, and the outcome um, is how I would then expand upon these. Now that I've got more time, I would take this and be like, okay, if I want to bring this up to another level, I'm going to expand it out into maybe six slides um, and start workshopping that business, that problem, that outcome, that solution. That's how I would approach this. Okay, let's see. What else have we got to improve? Um, these pictures are okay. Um, there's tons of improvement for the uh, for one We've just dropped whatever pictures we had. We haven't really been intentful with what pictures we're trying to show. So we have just dumped them on here. Um, this approach that I'm doing, I only recommend if you are like me, need to send something yesterday. Um, that way you're at least in the hat for it. You can try and make more time. But I think if you at least cover the keywords, you at least talk about the challenge and you at least are specific in what happened in the future. Maybe it's the outcomes, maybe it's numbers. Um, you at least have something there. I think it's going to put you in a way better position to at least do something, um, to at least potentially move on to the next phase. And if you do move on to the next phase and you've earned yourself some more time where you can build out things more, you can build an interview deck, you could do more things like that. So I need to jump all the journey map pictures in here. This is good enough for what I want. Um, I would love way better outcomes, of course, but as long as I'm talking about the future and talking about specificity, um, that's going to have to be honestly good enough. Um, unsure about the facilitation. I'll finish this round of critique here. Um, so maybe I might do this last. And if I don't make it, I'll remove it. Dashboard redesign is there. Cool. We need just numbers, 
descriptions added to this. Um, but at least it's something. I also need to finalize the thank you page. Um, and what I'm going to do is I like to put a blurb. When I've done something like this, I like to say, hey, this is a, this is a work in progress. Um, I, I just tell people this isn't perfect. Um, I've told the hiring person that I didn't have a portfolio and it would take them at least a week because I was in the middle of streaming this to a group of designers. Um, which seemed to quirk their curiosity. So what I'm going to do is upload these all to YouTube and point them to this if they're curious. Um, so I'm a bit on a, unapologetic about it in many ways. This doesn't work for all roles. It works for me in my role at the moment. Um, it actually seems to work. But yeah, thanks, Torfik, for dropping in. I see you've dropped out. Um, and what I might do is before I round off is I might actually showcase the portfolio that won my current role. I think that would be a nice before and after. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just uh, make these changes off call. Um, if people want to be on call while I'm doing it, please let me know. I can just schedule something ad hoc in the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, it might be at a bad time. So I'll leave the option there if people want. Else, what I will do is just record me doing it like I'm just doing right now and upload that with this in case people want to see it get put to the part where it's kind of, it's sent. Any questions on, on your guys' side? And so after this, we still will work through actually getting a better capabilities deck. This is the shitty first draft. This is kind of the, the good enough to send, but definitely not following all of our best practices or at that polished level. Yeah. Any thoughts from people? We've received a lot of feedback that apparently hearing the process for this, hearing the pivots, hearing the thinking behind it has been really useful. Um, is that still the case for this session? Because we pivoted a little here. Could yeah. Uh, ben, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Teddy. Cool. But yeah, uh, you kind of answered this question uh, right at the end there, but um, I wondered if you had any, given that this is like the, I'm sending this, it was due yesterday, and there's so much of it is work in progress. Do you have any strategies apart from just putting work in progress on those bits to kind of <laughs> offset that a bit to be like, hey, if I had more time, like a page that was almost like, if I had more time, here's all the things I would have covered. But the only yeah. reason this is like this is time constraints. Yeah, so, and, I, and I'm also aware. So, so you're asking, do I have any tips on how I would work around the roughness of this and maybe either kind of, if I had more time, here's what else I would show. Um, I'm really focused on, is it easy to read? Which can be hard with a, um, you know, as you can see, I'm a little uh, anal about like layouts and spacing and all that. So as long as it's, as long as it's for the most part clear and you understand what you're looking at, um, that's my very first thing over almost everything else. Um, is my sentences understandable and short and clear? If I can get that, great. Um, I focus on the, that kind of simplicity and the clarity there. Um, even if maybe, maybe it's not super perfect. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to think about that question there. Um, yeah, I do caveat, as you said, with, um, hey, this is a work in progress. Um, in terms of to be like, hey, do you want to see more of what I've done? Um, I'll often link to just like my LinkedIn, my socials. Um, that doesn't quite answer your question. Um, what was kind of the question you were after? I don't think I fully understood it. Yeah, sure. It, uh, you, you kind of answered it there, but it's, it's if you're sending something and you're really like in this scenario, we're really up against the time. It was really due mm. yesterday. And so this is not going to be the portfolio you want to put together for that application. Yep, yep. You're sending kind of the bare bones, but is there anything like in those strategies you can do either adding another slide or adding a comment at the end of that portfolio that's mm. like, hey, you know, this is a work in progress. That was more like the question is what types of strategies you might have used already or ideas for how you can yeah. send that really rushed portfolio, but also then say, I could do better if I had more time. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I don't really, the I could do better because I have more time, um, I guess, um, my stance on like um, portfolios, and maybe this is just because of the area I work in. Um, 
I've personally never met anyone who has called me up on the fact that there's spelling errors or that there that it's not um, this really polished piece. I've actually never been called up on that. You know, I normally caveat all my interviews. I caveat all my stuff by being like, "Hey, um, this is if it's a work in progress." I'm like, "Hey, this was a rushed job. Um, hope this helps. If you want to talk more, let me know." Um, so I, I, I try and prime that as much as I can. Um, I try and keep it as simple and short as possible, kind of like an optional. If you want to see more, you let me know. I've kept this short and simple for you, not just because of the time constraints. Uh, yes, because of the time constraints, but I kind of like to frame it as I've kept this short and simple. Hopefully this is easy for you to read. So if I ever get to send this over email, I often kind of add a little bit of a, just a sentence like, hey, um, managed to get this out. Hopefully this helps. Um, if you want to have that next step or that next chat to see more detail around what I do or have a deeper discussion, um, let me know. I've kept this really short and simple. Um, hopefully it should be easy to read. And that's kind of how I frame it. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That answered it amazingly. Yeah. And I, and I think a big part of this comes because um, I think I'm very good at ad-libbing in interviews and I've kind of done that over such a long period of time. And I feel like CJ, you might kind of talk a little bit to this as well, that if we have to talk about our work in the moment, um, I feel like we have a lot of strategies that keep it on track and engaging. That said, building out an interview deck is an exercise in communication mostly. Um, so it does help improve the communication. If I've spent time prepping, I'm definitely going to communicate way better. Um, CJ, do you have a uh, maybe an insight into this from your perspective Maybe you've got some thoughts around that question that Teddy's asked. I think you're on mute. Oh, CJ, are you there? Maybe not. Cool. Well, maybe he's away from keyboard or something. Sorry, what's your stance on this? I'd love to hear. I'm curious. Uh, sure. I mean, uh, okay. So I think this whole series, everything that's going on over here, it's very exciting to see. Um, and uh, well, it's kind of inspirational, uh, because when we see how you're handling everything that, uh, and how you are, uh, taking out everything from your documentation, um, which shows its effect and like if you're not doing that, I think we all need to start doing that, which is something I also started doing that recently. Uh, so first appearance value on that. Uh, and the second thing is as you go through it, it's, it doesn't look uh, very overwhelming. It doesn't look scary. It doesn't look too big of a thing to handle. So that really helps um, for me and I think for every other person here uh, that takes a lot of edge and that takes a lot of pressure. So it's kind of uh, being an inspiration for us to start getting ahead on it as well. So it's Thank you. wonderful. Actually, I really enjoy this. I, I really appreciate that. And I actually <laughs> think doing the single pager helps a lot. Um, like starting with a single page before I like <laughs> expand it and get super detailed, I find just this like constant push and pull to get just at least one page, four sentences out, even if it's not everything. I find that like, it's almost like a small exercise to prepare me if I need to go deeper. Um, and if I had more, more time as, as we all, do, all would, um, you know, I would take this and what I would sometimes need to do. And I've had this on calls with people is just have a whole hour conversation about why the work mattered um, and take notes and hear someone tell you why your work mattered. Um, that helps bring so much clarity. I bet you if I took this and I was on a call with Sarah and we workshopped this back and forth, the end result after a single hour would probably be way more powerful than what I'm, what I'm probably going to send. What I've got is good enough. Um, I'm, I'm not under no then. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should. Yeah, that'd be fun. It'd be kind of. I think it'd be kind of interesting. We've done these live calls, but then to do kind of a back and forth, I think it yeah, kind of like shows. A, uh, deck, deck tennis. Let's say deck tennis. <laughs> design like deck that. tennis. Yeah, deck tennis. That's fun. Um, you go back and forth. That sounds. That sounds cool. 
I think someone <laughs> asked to share their screen. If anyone is trying to share their screen and wants to for some reason, let me know. No, no that was an accident. But oh, I that's so good. Just say that's an that's an incredible idea. I would love to see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We, we, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Let, let, let's do something like that. Um. Let's line yeah, it up. So. <laughs> Awesome. Um, we can kind of ping pong back and forth, so to speak. Um, yeah, I like that. Let's uh, let's let's do something with that, Sarah. Um, so there's still a bit to be done. Um, since I need to send this, what I'm going to do is I will jump back on again tonight, and I will record just my my brain trying to get writing good. Um, and you'll even see me drop it into an email and hit the send button with my eyes closed. Um, so that's something I'll probably have to do, probably have to get it done by the end of today. So I will go live on the community later tonight. However, there's a go lives thing. I've always wanted to use it. So now maybe I get to use it. Um, chances are everyone's going to be asleep by then. So if you're not online, that is completely okay because I will be live in like 12 hours. So um, if you're online and you want to join, feel free. If not, it's okay. I will record it all. Um, we'll be fine. Cool. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for dropping in. I think this has been interesting. I think uh, making that pivot, I think, was valuable. I think we would have spent too long trying to focus on a single case study for something that is needed today, yesterday, last week. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get this kind of refined. There'll be a little bit of a break. And then we'll look at, okay, how do we do that ping pong back and forth? And I think that will be maybe the next thing then. And I'll... I'll I'll reach out to Sarah and we'll, we'll cue something up. Hmm. Fun. Wonderful. And it makes it less lonely doing this, having you guys on the call. It so. is. And it feels like a little bit of Twitch. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling like this yeah. is someone is playing I, a game. So there is a bit of satisfaction over there as well. I did think, um, you know, like, share and subscribe. Um, I did think about um, streaming this to social media platforms, but I could not figure out how to do it. Um, so that's going to be another challenge one day. Cool. Thank you, Teddy. Thank you, CJ. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Sarah. I really appreciate you joining and feedback. And um, I think this is making progress. So we'll line up those next sessions and I'll do that second video. If you're all or on, feel free to join. If not, no worries. It will be recorded. Uh, ben, do you have five minutes? I, I want I to ask you something super quick. Okay. Go for it. Let me stop recording. <laughs>